with the May primary election approaching here in Pope County, Pepper Valley Leader wanted to give residents a chance to get to know some of the candidates better. We sat down with some of the candidates of the contested races for the primary election and talked to them about what they would like to accomplish if elected. Every candidate was given a chance to come in, but some chose to decline. Now is your chance to get to know the candidates that came in a little bit better. Take a look. I'm here with Margie Hurley, one of the tax assessor candidates, and she is here to talk about what she hopes to accomplish if elected uh, this election season. Uh, Margie has currently works in the tax assessor's office in the Pope County Courthouse and has five current years of experience. Um, she's a Pope County native and graduated from Hector High School. Margie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, to kind of get this kicked off, tell me a little bit about your inspiration to run for this, uh, for this position. Well, it actually started about a year and a half ago. Um, I had, when Karen had told us, the current assessor had told us that she was going to retire, and she wanted somebody in the office to run, and, you know, I haven't been there as long as some of the other ladies. And I just started tossing the idea over, and within a few months, they were, I kept trying to talk myself out of it. And I went to her, and I talked to her, and at that time, nobody else was in the office had planned on running. And I had some obstacles to overcome, some pretty huge obstacles to overcome. And so I sought counsel with my pastor and asked him what I needed to do. And he just directed me to fast and pray. That's what I done. God gave me a word. God gave me a promise. And then he fulfilled that promise in October of last year. And so that opened the door for me to be able to run for this position. Um, now, kind of moving on. I'm asking, of course, every candidate the same question. So moving on, what do you think is the biggest issue facing Pope County at the moment? Or do you see one outlying issue that's really facing the county at all? I don't, when I hear that question, I think of, you know, you think of automatically something negative. And I really don't see any negative issues. As I have worked in the courthouse and actually for the county for the last five years, I really think we have a great set of elected officials that have laid a great foundation and continue on a good work. And as I see, you know, meet, go to meetings and see other counties, um, I really realize just, you know, how well we really do have it. Now, if you were to be elected for this position as Pope County Tax Assessor, what is it that you hope to accomplish? Well, there has, like I say, there has been an awesome foundation Lane Karen has been in the office for the, this December will be her 28th year. She's invested her life and a lot into it. She has kept up with the technology, the needs of the citizens, residents of Pope County. And so I just want to continue on in that foundation that's already been put there and just, you know, Technology is growing faster and faster by the minute, and so I just want to make sure that we keep up with all the needs and are able to, you know, advance as long as the technology does to, to help better serve people. Now, looking on to the future, obviously there's been a great foundation laid, but looking on to the future, where would you like to see Pope County in five years? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I just pretty much just continuing on, you know, as the technology, you know, who knows where we're going to be at in five years. Who thought we'd be able to check? emails and weather and everything on iPhones, you know, so I just I just say that just continue on to uphold the laws and just serve, have an open door policy and just serve uh, whatever needs the county actually has. Anything else you want to add or say particularly to the voters who are going to be coming out this primary election? My name is Margie Hurley and I would definitely and respectfully appreciate your vote. I am here with Larry Pettis to kick off our candidate uh, program. We're going to be interviewing all of the candidates. And Larry, you are our first one, so we want to thank you for coming in. Uh, Larry is actually a candidate for tax assessor. And to kind of give them an idea of your background, and uh, you've lived in Pope County since 1984 and worked at Energy for 34 and a half years. And then you've owned um, a real estate company, Accord Realty, here in Russellville since 2001. And this is your fourth time to run for tax assessor. Is that correct? That's correct. Tell me a little bit, what was your inspiration to run again for tax assessor? Well, I believe that the tax assessor's office is controlled too much by the state. Uh, our current tax assessor is doing a very good job, but if you go to her website, PopeCountyArkansas.com, uh, you will see that so many laws, so many regulations, the uh, assessment coordination department says do this, do that. It's my goal to work with the state legislatures from our area and other county assessors to try to get the control back to the county assessor. 
Now, what would you say would be the biggest issue facing both facing Pope County at the moment? Well, that is the biggest issue, is the control of the assessor's office and how assessments are done. Uh, the ACD, which is the Assessment Coordination Department, tells the county you're either on a three-year cycle or a five-year cycle. And uh, it's all determined outside of us, so that is the biggest issue facing the county. There's not a lot that I can do as an individual. But as a group of assessors or as a group of legislatures, we can see a change. Now, um, the, this last question is a little bit of a two-part question. If you were to be elected, what is it that you want to accomplish? And you've mentioned getting the control back into the county assessor, into the, into the county's hands. Is that what you would hope to accomplish? That is very much what I hope to accomplish because, you see, real estate values have changed quite a bit in the last few years and our assessments need to show that. It's hard to deal with an assessment this year when you're basing it on something that happened three to five years ago, but that's the law. And those are the things that need to be changed. Do you feel like your background in real estate will help if you get elected? Very much so. Uh, I can value properties. We're not appraisers. We do market analysis. We do what's called broker price opinions. I've been doing those since 2001. And you, when you sell a piece of property or when you list a piece of property, you need to know what the value is. So that's why I feel I'm very qualified for that. Um, now, going back to my original questions, the last question I want to ask, where would you like to see this county in five years? Well, I would like to see the county in a situation where the local government has more of a say in what's going on in our county. You would have had to been at a recent quorum court meeting to know that the assessment coordination department director told our county judge, you either sign that contract or I will. And our quorum court members were astounded so was the judge, but it's true, it's law, and we need the control of the county in the county. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> anything else you want to add or anything you want to say to the voters out there? Well, I just believe I've, I've got a lot of qualifications that we haven't talked about. I've got years of experience, and uh, I believe that I could do the best job in the office. It's a uh, a vision of mine. I wouldn't have run and run. People make fun of me for running so much, but it's because I have such a desire to serve the people of Pope County in this position. And we're back. I am here with Dana Baker, one of the candidates for Pope County Tax Assessor. Dana, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Um, to give you a little bit of an idea about Dana, she is a lifelong resident of Pope County, resides in Atkins with her four kids and husband, has over 20 years of customer service experience. Um, five years, um, she has been the Planning Commission Chair um, in Atkins. Uh, her family has served as a foster family for nine years, and she has worked at the Pope County Courthouse for 11 years, and four of those years were spent in the tax assessor's office, correct? That's right. So a lot of things that have helped, uh, that have formed your background and helped you uh, be qualified for running for this position. Exactly. Tell me a little bit about what your inspiration was to run for this position. Well, you know, um, when uh, the current Pope County Assessor had announced that she would be retiring, you know, it really weighed heavily on me. Um, I have worked with uh, the people in that office, you know, and they're a great working family, you know, and um, I see that the hard work and dedication, you know, that the current assessor has put in there for so many years. And I just felt like I have that hard work, I have that dedication, I have the experience, and, um, you know, all the moral values and honesty and just everything it would take to be a great assessor. And it, it just really compelled me to, to run. Uh, kind of switching gears a little bit, what would you consider the biggest issue facing Pope County at the moment? Um, you know, in the assessor's office, um, you know, taxes affect our whole county. I mean, as far as the school districts, the road department, you know, everything. And just to run that office efficiently and, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, the state of Arkansas passes down these laws and guidelines that you have to abide by, you know, to come up with those assessed values. And, you know, 
any deviation from that at all really affects our county in many different ways. So I think, you know, just um, running the office effectively and efficiently, you know. And, and lastly, Dana, tell me, I have a two-part question. If you get elected, what is it that you would like to accomplish? Well, um, I think accomplishments in that office, I mean, I think that, you know, our current assessor does a wonderful job in there, you know, and I would want to just continue that because, um, you know, like we said, it affects everyone in Pope County. You know, being a small business owner and um, an owner of real estate property, I understand the importance, you know, of a fair and accurate assessment, you know, and through those laws and guidelines passed down from the state, you know, you, you always want to have a happy customer at the end of the day, you know, in every business, you know, so, and you know, um, we live in a world that's ever changing every day as far as technology and, you know, in any, any form of anything we do in life, everything changes daily. And I just feel like, you know, to bring to the assessor's office, you know, to keep up with that technology and, you know, the, all the services that are available and, and, uh, updating equipment and things along that line, just keeping up with technology, you know, to make the office better. And that's actually a pretty good transition to my next question, because it's talking about future things and kind of keeping up with technology. What would you like to see this county look like five years from now? Um, you know, I feel like, um, I'll go back to, you know, our current assessor. I feel like she does a wonderful job. I think she really has a hold on that office and, you know, knows. And, you know, it's through her hard work and dedication that she's accomplished that. And I would just want to mentor that, you know, in, in five years, you know, if I could be in that same position to do as well as she has. I mean, I, I just think that would be a great accomplishment. Anything else that you'd like to add about running for this position or anything you'd like to say to the voters in particular? Um, you know, I'd just like to say I'm, you know, a... Uh, a local girl, you know, that's just uh, seeking this position. Um, I'm running on my experience, you know, my background in customer service, and, um, you know, just really want to get a feel for the people and, you know, to see our county grow and, you know, prosper in the ways that it can, you know. It's just um, a big job, and I feel like I am qualified and ready and that I can handle it, and I would appreciate any vote out there.